Hi, I'm Corey Congilio, and welcome to the Texas Blues Rhythm Factory. To be a competent blues rhythm player, you need to have a strong vocabulary that consists of major, minor, and dominant chords, as well as an understanding of authentic rhythmic feels. But that's only half of the equation. Great rhythm players understand taste, feel, and most of all, support. Having a broad collection of chord voicings, rhythm patterns, and licks is essential to keeping your supportive rhythm parts more interesting. This edition of Rhythm Factory will introduce you to 50 big Texas rhythm parts that will work over a variety of styles. We're going to work on 10 rhythms for shuffles, 10 boogie woogie style grooves, 10 funky blues progressions, 10 12-8 slow blues style progressions, and 10 minor blues progressions as well. I'll demonstrate each example, I'll break it down, then what I'm going to do is take these examples, put them together to make some really cool 12 bar progressions for us. For example, here's one rhythm part that we'll learn for a shuffle groove. And by also learning this one, and this one, We'll be able to put an interesting and dynamic 12 bar rhythm part together that sounds like this. Once you've mastered all 50 examples, there's no reason to be stuck in a rhythm rut. You'll be able to create endless rhythmic possibilities at your next gig or jam session. All of the rhythms are tabbed and notated, plus you'll get the backing tracks to work with as well. One of the things I love about the blues is that it allows the spotlight to shine on us as guitar players. And that means most of the time we're holding down the rhythm. This course is going to provide you with all of the tools to serve the song, the band, and the blues. All right, so let's stop talking, go get your guitar, and let's start grooving. Mm -hmm. 